Hello Ruffians, today in this video we are going to be looking at the crafting system of a raffia. We'll start by clicking the craft button here and you will see an options menu. This is where you can click in to see the weapons, armor, spells, abilities and potions that you can craft. There are currently 25 weapons that can be crafted in a raffia, 90 pieces of armor, 125 spells, 55 abilities, and 30 different types of potions. So we're going to start by clicking weapon. And this will populate a list of the 25 different weapons that you can craft in a raffia. By clicking on the item, two windows are presented to us. The window on the right is the item details window, and this shows you the statistics that the item has and will have when the item has been crafted. To the left is another window, and this is the crafting requirements window. This window shows how many resources are going to be required in order to craft this item. The item that we've selected is a wooden sword, and the crafting requirements for that item are seven wood and two cloth. Crafting items requires crafting skill. And as you can see, these items are grouped into categories of five. And these represent the tier of the item. The higher the tier, the stronger the item and the more crafting skill that is required to successfully craft that item. As the item goes up in tiers, its stats will increase. So for instance, we can see the wooden sword here has five health, five stamina. We click the bronze sword and we can see the stats increased to 15 health and 15 stamina all the way through to one of the end game weapons uh, that has 405 health, 405 stamina, and obviously, as you can see below, various other stats as well. Now, we've just dropped into the game with a new character, so we're not going to have enough crafting skill to create any of these four items, but we will have enough crafting skill to make this wooden sword. So we click this crafting button here, we get a message saying that the craft was successful, and then in our inventory, in our bag, we can click through and we can see that item in the inventory. One of the things you will notice is that the statistics of the item in this window vary from the item details window that we saw when we were crafting the item. The reason for that is, is that every time an item is crafted, it's crafted with randomized stats and your crafting ability acts to add to those stats. Now that we have crafted that item, there's one thing left to do, which is to select the item and equip it to our character. More information on the equip, unequip process will be provided in a separate video. As an extension to this video, just to show that crafting is working for the other elements of the game, we'll just have a quick run through where we click through to armor. You can see the different types of armor. Yet again, armor is split into five tiers. Um, there are also warrior variants of armor and there are wizard variants of armor. And each of those have five tiers. So in front of us here, you are seeing the five tiers of warrior armor. Ripped is tier one, leather is tier two, chainmail tier three, plate tier four, and dragon scale tier five. Each, as you can see by the stats, increasing each time. Go over to page two. This is where the wizard items are created. And yet again, we are presented with five tiers, tier one being cloth, tier two being satin, tier three being silk, tier four being feather, and tier five being dragon skin. And just to show uh, it's completely possible, it's 
to craft these items and this is already in the game here we've crafted uh, a belt here we will craft a ripped helmet and we can see that these items are indeed in our inventory we can go wild of course and equip these go back into crafting see the spells we're going to decide to craft lesser anger so we click craft go to our bag and there's lesser anger thanks very much for watching have a great day